I sound? My room is cold when I was using it. I had to turn it up so that's a little louder. Okay. <laughs> So it's dancing now. Hare Krishna devotees, thank you for gathering here. Uh, it is our most good fortune that we have His Grace Amarendra Prabhu uh, with us along with his brother um, Arjun Saka Prabhu and wonderful wife uh, Swastika Mataji. Amarendra Prabhu is a Diksha disciple of His Holiness Radha Govinda Dasa Goswami Maharaj who is the senior disciple of Srila Prabhupada, uh, very well known for his classes on Srimad Bhagavatam. As a disciple, Amarendra Prabhu aspires to practice and preach the message of the scriptures far and wide as much as possible and in this endeavor has traveled to many cities around the world spreading Krishna consciousness in universities, temple congregations and social platforms such as YouTube, WhatsApp and Facebook. As part of his student preaching endeavors, he has also been part of many student conferences and has contributed in areas such as uh, interfa interfaith harmony and science and spiritual synthesis. Academically, Amrendra Prabhu is a master in electronic, uh, electrical engineering from the University of Massachusetts and spiritually holds a Bhakti Sastri degree from Mayapur. Let us give warm welcome to this holy couple and his brother uh, Arjun Saka Prabhu to by loudly chanting one time Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Uh, and we'll take like Pick 20 seconds. We'll move forward a little, maybe one quarter inch. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Uh. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram. Thank you, Satyasara Prabhu, for thank you for kindly inviting us. And I'm very happy to be here and very happy to see many of the faces that I know from the past. Very, very happy to see all of you again and very happy to be in the service of all the Vaishnavas this evening. We have His Grace Prabhanu Prabhu with us, who is a very senior disciple of Srila Prabhupada joining us this evening. He traveled with Srila Prabhupada in Mauritius. He was instructed by Srila Prabhupada to travel and preach in Africa. He was also a traveling companion of His Holiness Indra Dhyumna Maharaj in traveling Sankirtan. He's a very senior Vaishnav who's been chanting Hare Krishna for over 50 years. So with 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 a heart full of affection, full of reverence and gratitude for the fact that he took his time out and he came to be with us, let us loudly chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. So we will start off with little kirtan and then we'll break into the class. Is that okay? Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare. 
कृष्णा कृष्णा हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हर हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम maybe a little slower ram ram har 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 krishna har krishna 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 hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा
राम राम हर कृष्णा हर कृष्णा 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 हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर हर कृष्णा कृष्णा हर 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 राम हर हर कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर 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 कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर हर कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर 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 कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हर 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 कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर 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 कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर 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 कृष्ण हर कृष्ण 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 हर 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 राम हर राम 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 हर हर
Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare And again, everyone together, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare This Kirtan, Srila Prabhupada used to say, is the cry of a child for its mother. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare Hare 
Snakers. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, eh, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, everyone, Hare Krishna. Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, everyone, Hare Krishna, Hare And again, everyone, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. One last time, everyone together, please. Oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hey, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, 
हर हर हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे हरे जय जय प्रभु पान प्रभु पान प्रभु पान जय प्रभु पान जय जय प्रभु पान प्रभु पान प्रभु पान जय प्रभु पान निताय गौर हरि बरि बरि बोर हरि ब जय जय श्री राधे श्याम युग धर्म हरि नाम संकीर्तन की शील प्रभुपाद की गौर प्रेम नंदे बिग हरि बोल फॉर अवर करता एन मृदंग टीम प्लीज हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर चैंटिंग एंथुजियास्टिकली हरि नाम संकीर्तन की हाउ मेनी ऑफ एस आर चैंटिंग हरे कृष्ण ऑलरेडी इवन वन राउंड वन राउंड हरे कृष्ण ओके हाउ मेनी सिक्सटीन राउंड हरे कृष्ण एवरी डे ओके हाउ मेनी नो चैंटिंग स्टिल ओके दैट्स अ सिंस अ बिग हरी बोल फॉर दिस ऑनेस्ट बॉय What is your name? Kartik. Kartik. Oh, there's a whole month in your name. <laughs> there's a whole Kartik mass. <laughs> Anyone else who's been coming to the center maybe less than six months? Just started to Prabhu Prabhu. <laughs> Anyone's been coming in the last six months? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. this is my first time so i'm just trying to know everyone <laughs> om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya om namo bhagavate vasudevaya ओम ज्ञानतिरांध्य ज्ञानाजनशलाकया 
चक्षुन्मीलित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं कदाम ददाति स्वदाक नम ओं विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देशतारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णा कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमो नम वाकतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम हरे कृष्ण सो वी विल ट्राई टू हैव डिस्कशन फॉर अबाउट थर्टी फोर्टी मिनट्स एंड देन वी विल ब्रेक फॉर सम रिफ्लेक्शंस एंड क्वेश्चंस शीला सनातन गोस्वामी a beloved associate of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu he was the chief minister of a muslim king called nawab husain shah sanatan goswami was an erudite scholar he had learned of course he is an eternal associate of radha and krishna in goloka vrindavan he serves as a maid servant of radha and krishna and he appeared in this world in a male form in goloka vrindavan he is in a feminine form as a maid servant as a gopi but in this world he appeared in a male form as the chief minister of the nawab and sanatan goswami although born in a gaur saraswat brahmin family from southern part of india from karnataka he was a kannadiga so was his brother rupa goswami and so was their brother's son shiva goswami So three out of six Goswamis were from Karnataka. Quite an interesting fact. And the fourth was Gopal Bhatta Goswami, who was a Tamil Nadu Brahmana. He was a Tamil speaker. So four out of six. And the fifth was Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, who was from the northern part of India. He was from Uttar Pradesh. Hmm? And the sixth one is Raghunath Das Goswami. He was the only Bengali out of the six Gaudiya. Uh, six goswamis of vrindavan six gaudiya followers of mahaprabhu shila sanatan goswami although being a brahmana by birth by the social pressure of how much atrocities were performed against the sanatanis the hindus at that point by the king his heart was melting in compassion the nawab said i want you to become my chief minister and if you do that was the sun oh the air condition okay he said if you become my chief minister then i promise i will protect all the hindus if you don't i will kill the hindus murder the cows and set the house of brahmanas on fire i will break temples and deities and burn the sacred books o oh, sanatan now it's your call either you can give up your brahmanical background and serve me and protect the society or you can be as you are and in front of your eyes you will see the whole uh, generation being massacred there will be a bloodshed so sanatan goswami out of unending compassion he accepted the muslim way of life not that he became a muslim no uh, he was still as he was but because he was serving the king now he had a beard without a mustache uh, and he was also given a perverted reflection diksha which means he was given a name by the king 
Just like in the spiritual circle, you get a name by the spiritual master. There he got, he received a name from the king. And his birth name was Santosh. But Santosh became Sakar Malik. Later to become Sanatan Goswami. So this Srila Sanatan Goswami was such an erudite scholar. He had so many Shastras on the tip of his tongue. He was the author of so many books. In fact, Srila Sanatan Goswami became one of the leading exalted commentators to Srimad Bhagavatam. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu calls Sanatan Goswami's body his second expansion. How beautiful. Sanatan Goswami's body was so dear to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu said, your body is not your property, it's my property. This is Srila Sanatan Goswami. So Srila Sanatan Goswami, while serving the king also, it's described. He knew many, many languages like Arabic, like Persian, like Urdu, Sanskrit, Bengali, uh, Brajboli, so many languages he spoke. Apart from that, as he was serving the king, it is described when Sanatan Goswami would sit in his royal court as the chief minister of the king. It would look as if it was Indra sitting in his royal court with so many people, so many ministers bowing their head at his feet. And his brother, who's also an eternal associate, Rupa Goswami, he was given the name Amar. In fact, his birth name was Amar. He was given the name Dabir Khas. Huh? Amar. <laughs> Rupa Goswami is called Amar. <laughs> That's the only good fortune in my life that I share my name with. Anyway, so, so his brother Rupa Goswami and himself, Sanatan Goswami, both of them, while being Dabir Khas and Sakar Malik, as the two eyes of Nawab Hussein Shah, Sanatan Goswami being the chief minister and Rupa Goswami being the finance minister, both of them would burn in their heart in separation from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They would think, Radha and Krishna in one form have come in this world once in more than 5 billion earthly years. According to the calculation, we won't get into it right now. But more than 5 billion earthly years, uh, once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes in this world. And when he comes in this world, he's only there for 48 years. And at that time, Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami, instead of running and being with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they're serving a Muslim king. So they're burning in their heart. They are feeling, what are we doing? We are at the right time, but in the wrong place. We wish we could just give up what we are doing. And anyway, we are serving. We are servants, humbly surrendering. Instead of serving the Muslim king, let's surrender to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And as their separation bubble was just expanding with time. Uh, their anticipation bubble, their greed bubble were all almost on the edge of popping and bursting. They couldn't take it anymore. And they felt like running away and meeting Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Finally, after many turn of events, both of them surrendered. They met Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at Ramakeli. And they surrendered their lives at the lotus feet of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu said, uh, Prabhu kahe sanatan rupa jao brindavan. Oh rupa and sanatan, I instruct you, said Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Both of you, please go to Vrindavan. And that's what they wanted. To go to Vrindavan and go from place to place crying out the names of Radha and Krishna. That is the aim of our life. Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, when he was a child, he was 12 years old. And he had an older brother. Uh, Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur was gifted a Srimad Bhagavatam by his older brother. <laughs> and uh, Vishwanath Chakravarti would try to read chapter after chapter after chapter. And once he finished the 12 cantos as a child, he came to his older brother and said, I finished the book that you gave me. And the older brother said, now what do you want? Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur said, can I get another book? Uh, so the older brother said, first you have to tell me what is the essence of the first book that you read. Srimad Bhagavatam. Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, he scratched his forehead and he said, I don't know what's the essence. There are 18,000 verses that I read, but I don't know what's the synopsis. 
The older brother said, I'll give you one more year, 12 months. Go read the 12 cantos again and come. Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur went, read through the 12 cantos again and he came back. And, in his, and his older brother asked him, what's the essence? Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur said, the essence of studying Srimad Bhagavatam is to run to Brindavan and never return. <laughs> his older brother said, very good. You have got the essence of Srimad Bhagavatam. Your greed and your thirst to find Radha and Krishna in the land of Brindavan has manifested by studying a Srimad Bhagavatam. This is wonderful. Little did the world know that this Vishwanath Chakravarti later will become one of the leading, most juiciest commentator on Srimad Bhagavatam with the Sarartha Darshani Tika, which his Holiness Bhanu Maharaj has translated so lovingly. And now everywhere in ISKCON, everyone's having a Sarartha Darshani. Everyone with a Bhakti Vaibhav is Vishwanath Chakravarti commentary. But how Vishwanath Chakravarti came up to the commentary is in itself a story, right? So the point is, Rupa and Sanatan Goswami developed so much love for Vrindavan. They already are eternal associates of Vrindavan. But while being in this world, they manifested such unending pangs of separation. Now, when we go to Vrindavan, we go, we do a parikrama around Vrindavan, we do a parikrama around Govardhan, we do a parikrama around Radha Kun, we do a parikrama around Barsana. Where else do we do parikrama? Any other parikramas? Did I miss a? Yeah, okay. Anyway, you got the point. <laughs> so we go to Vrindavan and we circumambulate, right? But we do it as a duty. Okay, I have to circumambulate Vrindavan, I have to circumambulate Govardhan. But Rupa and Sanatan, they weren't circumambulating for the sake of circumambulating. They would go to Yamuna. And they would try calling out the names of Radha and Krishna on the banks of the holy river Yamuna. Hey Radhe! Hey Krishna! That echo makes it even better. There's no echo for the other words. Hey Radhe! Some inconceivable magic going on this evening. <laughs> so they would call out. And in Vrindavan, it would echo. From the caves. From the forests. Huh? They would call out to the names of Radha and Krishna and weep and fall to the ground rolling in the dust. Oh Radharani, oh Shamsundar, oh Krishna, where are you? And then Krishna would reveal to Rupa Goswami in the heart, Hey, I am at Govardhan. And Rupa and Sanatan would run to Govardhan to find Radha and Krishna. And now they would go from one cave to another, from one spot to another at Govardhan. Hey, Radhe! Hey, Krishna! They would call out. And then when they wouldn't find Radha and Krishna at Govardhan, they would fall down to the ground crying and weeping. And then Krishna would reveal in his heart, Oh, I am actually at Gokul Mahavan. And they would run to Gokul Mahavan. Hey Radhe! Hey Krishna! And in this way, they went around doing Parikrama all around Vrindavan. It wasn't a checklist on their to-do list. When I come to Vrindavan, I need to do a Parikrama. It was their greed which to find the Supreme Lord which was taking them from one place to another. The body was actually doing what the heart was searching for. Please everyone repeat. Energy flows where intent goes. Energy flows where intent goes. If our intention if our aim, our goal is fixed, then we will see all our energy flows in that direction. Dear devotees, feeling this desire to find the Supreme Lord in our life is the root of all spiritual success. Very important. You will find in the life of Srila Sanatan Goswami, one evening, as Srila Sanatan Goswami was sitting on the banks of the Jamuna, 
one interesting brahmana comes to him very famous story that shila prabhupad narrates i happened to hear it from shila gaur govind maharaj and then i heard it from prabhupad's tapes shila sanatan goswami was sitting on the banks of the jamuna and one fine day a brahmana came to him and the brahmana came and said oh dear baba are you sanatan goswami sanatan goswami said yes this is your servant how can i serve you the brahmana said i am from kashi and i have a daughter to get married off but i don't have the money so i prayed to lord shiva who is the lord of kashi and he said there is a very wealthy person in vrindavan his name is sanatan goswami go and beg as much money as possible from him and he will give you as much wealth as you want so the brahmana came to sanatan goswami said can you give me wealth sanatan goswami looked at him he said at one point i used to be the chief minister of the nawab and i had lot of gold coins but i escaped from there out of my desire to be with sri chaitanya mahaprabhu who instructed me to come to vrindavan and now when i am in vrindavan look at what i am wearing i am just wearing a loin cloth and what do i eat i beg from door to door and whatever i get sometimes it's chana sometimes peanuts sometimes ground nuts sometimes cashew nut and sometimes it's just flour with little salt <laughs> sometimes it's just water from the jamuna i have no palace i have no home i live in a small hut i have nothing to eat and nothing to wear what wealth can i give you i am a poverty stricken beggar the brahmana said but lord shiva cannot speak false he is saying you are a wealthy person which means you have lot of wealth sanatan goswami said i don't have oh yeah yeah that reminds me yes i have wealth i do have wealth yeah I, somehow i forgot about it i do have some wealth the brahmana said what wealth do you have sanatan goswami said i actually have a touch stone it's a touch stone in such a way you take that and you touch whatever object you want and that object will turn into gold you have a touch stone sanatan sanatan goswami said yes can i have it said the brahmana yes you can where is it i somewhere on the banks of the jamuna i threw it away you threw it away do you know where it is well i kept it somewhere on the banks of the holy river yamuna i don't know if you can search and find it it's yours the brahmana went running and he found the touch stone you see energy flows where intent goes so he found the touch stone i can touch whatever i want with this and it's all going to turn gold he came and asked sanatan goswami you don't want this I said no i don't want it okay if you don't want it you could have thrown it into the waters of the jamuna why did you throw it on the banks sanatan goswami said if i threw it into the jamuna i don't have it and nobody else gets it but if i keep it on the banks i don't need it but somebody like you who wants it can take it so even in the disposal of a touch stone sanatan goswami was thinking of vaishnav seva how it can serve others so the brahmana was just exhilarated he said can i take this with me sanatan goswami said sure it's yours take it no harm take it the brahmana so happily put it in his bag which turned gold <laughs> and he started walking towards kashi and midway he realized wait a minute if someone is ready to give a donation of a touch stone imagine how much wealth he is secretly storing you know you can you can give a charity of 10000 dollars when you're making much more than that not when you're having 100 dollars you can give a charity of 10000 right or if you're having 10000 you can give 10000 you have to have something much more so he returned back to sanatan goswami he said is it true that you're having a bigger touch stone and that's why you've disposed of this touch stone sanatan goswami said good intelligence yes that's true the brahmana said ah uh, can i have that touch stone sanatan goswami said sure the brahmana said what is the price to get that touch stone 
सनातन गोस्वामी से कृष्ण भक्ति रस भाविता मती किए था यदि कुतोपि लभ्यते तत्र लौल्यम अभी मूल्यम एकलम कोटि जन्म सुकृति न लभ्यते द ओनली प्राइस टू गेट दैट थर्ड स्टोन इज द डिजायर टू पोजेस इट यू हैव दैट ग्रीट यू वांट इट सो बी इट आई एम रेडी टू गिव इट टू यू द ब्राह्मण सेड नाइस आई हैव दिस हियर एंड आई कैन हैव वन मोर सो ओके लेट्स हैव इट सनातन गोस्वामी सेड द रूल टू हैव दैट थर्ड स्टोन इज फर्स्ट यू हैव टू throw this touch stone back to the banks of the jamuna go and put this touch stone to the same place where you got it from then you come back and i'll give you the higher touch stone he went and threw the touch stone and he came back and he asked sanatan goswami what is the higher touch stone sanatan goswami said to feel loving separation from god is a higher touch stone of the heart what is the use of the touch stone which only makes objects into gold the greater touch stone is when the heart is feeling separation from god because of possessing love sanatan goswami told the brahmana this human form is benedicted by the supreme lord so that one can love him in separation even in this world when we are separated from someone whom we love oh the heart feels so much pain there's sweet remembrance in that separation pain but there is a difference in feeling separation from someone in this world and feeling separation from krishna and the difference is when we feel separation from someone in this world we feel separation but they don't know and experience what separation we are feeling in our heart let's say if i lose my grandfather whom i've actually lost so he is departed Two years ago. So, if I feel separation from him, I may shed tears, and I may feel some separation because of love. But he is in a different body, and he is not going to realize what I am feeling. So, it's kind of one-sided. But when we feel separation from Krishna, Krishna is right there in the heart, feeling that separation. The devotee feels for him. So, this is the best feeling of loving separation, not one-sided, but reciprocal. everyone in this world wants to fall in love everyone likes to be with people whom they love and everyone feels separation from those they love but the pen, the the ultimate zenith the pinnacle of this feeling is when we can feel this for god not just thinking that he's sitting up there to punish me and throw me into hell he is not that person who sadistic who finds joy in my suffering he is a person with a heart It's not that Krishna has a heart he is a heartbeat all in itself he is beating from head to toe we have an heart we have a heart somewhere here and then in that heart we have little space for god but krishna from head to toe he is a heartbeat in the life of a devotee sanatan goswami taught the brahmana the same thing that sanatan goswami and rup goswami has have experientially realized when they left the nawab it was loving pangs of separation that got them to vrindavan sanatan goswami told the brahmana oh dear brahmana what can a touch stone of this world do it is lifeless and it can solve your problems up to death nothing beyond that but however if you can love god with all your heart and feel loving separation from him and serve and call out his names in that affection then you can completely control the creator of the whole creation that's all god wants krishna just wants your service which is filled with loving separation not just love but love in separation oh krishna when or oh, when will that day be mine when i can actually see you when i can actually feel your embrace and hear your flute sound and smell the aromatic fragrance of your transcendental body when will that day be mine same madana mohana sakitanoti karana spruham chaitanya mahaprabhu would hear the flute sound of krishna in chaitanya charitamrit and it is described when chaitanya mahaprabhu would be at the gambhira which is the most um, concentrated 
place of rasa in the whole creation where chaitanya mahaprabhu felt so much separation from krishna in the mood of radharani there he would be locked with three doors bolted and locked so that he doesn't leave and in the middle of the night chaitanya mahaprabhu would would find himself breaking through all these three doors running to to hear krishna's flute sound mahaprabhu would hear the sound of krishna's flute and he would smell the fragrance of krishna's body not hallucination but real substance because of devotional greed and chaitanya mahaprabhu would break through all obstacles just like shrimati radharani would break through all obstacles and run to krishna in the middle of the rasa leela in that mood in the middle of the night on the banks not of jamuna but on the banks of the ocean in jagannath puri chaitanya mahaprabhu in the mood of radharani would break through all obstacles and run to find krishna in the gardens of jagannath puri and through his eyes he would see the threefold bending form and through the nose he would smell the beautiful form of krishna um, who is decorated with so many beautiful forest flower garlands and through his ears he would hear the ankle bells of krishna he would hear the flute sound of krishna and at the same time chaitanya mahaprabhu would run to embrace krishna to his chest his tongue would be chanting krishna's names and suddenly krishna would disappear and mahaprabhu would cry beating his chest oh where is my krishna i just found him but i lost him again dear devotees this feeling cannot be experienced by any other living entity but we can hear about this to find a goal post you can play soccer without a goal post right can you play soccer without a goal post just running with a ball don't know where to go we can't similarly we can't perform bhakti without a goal post we're just chanting reading hearing coming to the program chanting hearing serving yes that's like dribbling the ball but the goal post one fine day is to feel loving separation from krishna where nothing of this world neither the happiness of this world nor the sorrow of this world neither the success of this world nor the failure of this world neither the friends of this world nor the enemies of this world none of them matter what matters is i wish i can just find my lord that's all that i want imagine a mother's predicament situation of life when she let's say can't find her child in a shopping mall I was about 2 years old when I had got lost in a shopping mall in Saudi Arabia and my parents went frantic and every mata ji there every lady there has burqa right black burqa so my mother also used to wear burqa it's compulsory even for non muslims and there most families have many children so the child knows i have to hold the hand of a lady with a burqa and the burqa mata ji knows well a few hands are holding me which means they are my kids so my parents couldn't find me for over 30 minutes in a shopping mall i was 2 years old and then finally one friend family friend of ours they were from pakistan they um helped my father they found me walking down on the end of the street holding the hand of some lady who had a burqa the lady thought it was just one of her children i thought it was my mother and my father ran and caught me and got me home and that's how i came to the hari krishna temple today it was a long struggle if not i don't know i may have become like a muslim preacher or something in saudi arabia i may be giving talks on allah i would have become dabir khan <laughs> <laughs> um, hari bol for prabhu ji <laughs> shila sanatan goswami told the brahmana through his personal experience and also through the lives of chaitanya mahaprabhu's experience that oh brahmana if you really want to touch stone then develop the touch stone of krishna prem in your heart 
which shines like a crystal, multicolored with so much flavor, sometimes in meeting Krishna and sometimes in separation from Krishna. And when someone has Krishna Prem in their heart, love for Krishna, which is the ultimate goalpost for our life. Who says that? I don't say that. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that. Aradhyo Bhagavan Brajesha Tanayastad Dhamma Vrindavanam Ramya Kaji Dupasana Vrajavadum Varghena Yakalpita Srimad Bhagavatam Purana Mamala Prema Pumartho Mahan Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamidam Tatradharana Paraha Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said the aim of our life, each one of our lives, not my life, not your life, each one of our lives. What is it? It is not Krishna. It is not Radha. It is not Radha and Krishna. It is love for Radha and Krishna. What is the use if you get Krishna, but you have no love for him? Our vision will be like Shishupal. Shishupal saw Krishna. He had Krishna, but he didn't have love for Krishna. Therefore, he criticized Krishna. Our situation will be like Kamsa. He had Krishna, but he had no love for Krishna. Our situation will be like Ravana. He saw Ramachandra, but he didn't see Ramachandra like how Shabari saw Ramachandra, like how Hanuman saw Ramachandra, like how Vibhishan saw Ramachandra. Because it's not that he didn't have Ram, he didn't have love for Ram. So everyone in one voice, the aim of our life is love for Radha and Krishna, which means Krishna Prem. Krishna Prema. This is the aim of our life. Even in the middle of the night, if someone jumps onto your chest and wakes you up and says, what is the purpose of your life? We will say, Braje Radha Krishna Seva Pabo E Abhilashi This is the aim of my life. To develop love for Radha and Krishna and to serve them unconditionally. Eternal time. Expecting nothing in return. This is the aim of our life. Absolute aim. Srila Narottam Das Thakur. My brother invoked uh, the remembrance of Prem Bhakti Chandrika today. He was speaking to me something and he spoke about Prem Bhakti Chandrika. That's a very beautiful book by Narottam Das Thakur. So I got reminded in that book, Narottam Das Thakur says, we should have love for God like how the fish loves its waters. Jala binu jano mean dukha paaye ayu heen. Narottam Das Thakur says, let us love God like how the fish loves the water. What does that mean? The fish doesn't want a business class ticket. The fish doesn't want a nine course meal. The fish doesn't want a Nobel Prize. The fish doesn't want to become the first billionaire. The fish just wants water. As difficult and as simple as it sounds. It loves to swim in the water. And when it's in the water, it's happy with the water. And when it's out of the water, it's ready to flip and flap and even die, but not live without water. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was asked by Sanatan, uh, by Swarup Damodar Goswami, Oh Mahaprabhu, you have so much love in your heart. Mahaprabhu said, I don't even have the fragrance of love in my heart. What to speak of love of God? I don't even have the fragrance. Swarup Damodar Goswami said, how can you say that? Mahaprabhu said, I am like the golden fish. And Shama Sundar is like the blue waters. Look, I cannot... Die in separation, like how the fish can die in separation from water. I continue to live without Krishna. What kind of love is that? This was the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Narottam Das Thakur gives one more example. You see the, the life of a fire, uh, uh, firefly? Hmm? Have you seen fireflies? They are so attracted by the flames, the jumping flames of the fire. They go straight <laughs> and they get burnt and they fall on the other side. Now, they have seen their predecessors, their parents, their grandparents, fireflies, all do the same. But still, they feel, well, 
these sparks jumping flames of fire are so exciting i want it i want to experience it once and while this firefly dies in the fire the next firefly sees this and sees oh he went through he died my father went through he died my grandfather went through he died in the history of firefly all my seven generations they've all died through that fire but still the greed in the heart of the firefly is so much even if i die it's okay i just want to touch fire once narottam das thakur says let that desire come in our heart what does that mean achrishyava padaratam pinashthumam adarshanan marmahatam karotu va yatha tatha va vidadhatu lampato mat prananatastu sa eva na para o krishna radharani is speaking oh krishna when i am calling out to you may you not come before me no harm may, or may you come before me and embrace me lovingly no harm or you can appear before me and to make me even more broken hearted you can take another gopi with you no harm oh krishna you do whatever pleases you but one thing is for sure i will never forget you this form of unconditional surrender is the spirit of the firefly the devotee says my lord mama janmani janmani ishvare bhavatad bhakti rahaitu ki tvai kshauni patitvam athava ekam akinchanatvam nityam dadasi bahumanam athapamanam vaikuntha vasam athava narake nivasam ha vasudeva mama nasti tvad tvad gatir anya the acharya says either you make me a king or you make me a poverty stricken beggar my lord no harm you make me very famous or you make me ill famed no harm you keep me in vaikuntha you throw me into hell my lord no harm one thing is for sure you have these two options i have only one option wherever you keep me in your desire i am happy can we imagine most of our life problems will be dissolved if this mentality is accepted when material desires are there we try to twist krishna's arm in he fulfilling our desire and that's where the problem begins but narottam das thakur says may we have loving separation from krishna like how the fish loves the water or how the firefly loves the fire another example given is that of the bumblebee with the lotus flower <laughs> shila narottam das thakur says the bumblebee or the honey bee is busy drinking the nectar from the whorl of a lotus flower hmm rupa goswami says manamanasa madhukaram arpaya nijapada pankaja makarande krishna deva bhavantam vande rupa goswami pad says <laughs> the same thing that narottam das thakur is repeating actually what is rupa goswami pad saying my lord your feet is lotus feet correct what is krishna's feet lotus feet <laughs> one time shila radhanath maharaj was with janani vas prabhu and maharaj said please give me the nectar of your lotus feet janani vas prabhu said i don't have lotus feet i have cactus feet radhanath maharaj said then please give me little aloe vera <laughs> from your cactus feet <laughs> rupa goswami pat says my lord your feet are lotus feet and my mind is a restless honey bee may the honey bee of my mind get attracted to the lotus of your feet that's all that i want tena me krishna padavje mana sandhir vidhiyatam how many sanskrit students here any sanskrit student here okay shila jeeva goswami has written a book called shri hari nam amrita vyakaranam on sanskrit grammar i just want to make a point and then we are talking about the bumblebee and the lotus okay so we'll come back shila jeeva goswami is teaching the concept of sandhi how many of us in telugu grammar has have learned sandhi yes so we all know 
Thank you. I uh, I actually sorry. I asked the wrong question about Sanskrit. I should have directly asked about Telugu only. <laughs> so Sandhi is a concept of combination. You know, like for example, Maha plus Utsava becomes Mahotsava. That's right. So similarly, uh, you can find Krishna. Plus Arjuna, Krishna Arjuna. So that means a combination, right? Of syllables. Jiva Goswami, while teaching Sanskrit grammar, he says, Tena me Krishna Padabje Mana Sandir Vidhiyatam. My desire in teaching Sandhi, Jiva Goswami writes, is so that my mind can have Sandhi with the lotus feet of Krishna. Which means, may, <laughs> may the honeybee of my mind. Get attracted to the nectar of Krishna's feet. The same thing. Tena me Krishna padavje mana sandir vidhiyatam. How great is Srila Jiva Goswami. While teaching the combination of syllables, he says, may my mind combine with the lotus of your feet. Hmm? So now, Narottam Das Thakur says, Narottam Das Thakur says, that just like a honeybee gets attracted to the lotus flower, and what does it do? From sunrise to sunset, it sucks on the honey in the central wall of the lotus flower. And at sunset, the lotus closes. And when the lotus closes, the honeybee has an option. Hey, just fly away. Then you'll be alive. Or be trapped in that lotus at the risk of death. But at least you get some nectar to drink. Right? The honeybee loves the honey so much that instead of flying away and coming the next day to drink nectar, in that way you still get the nectar and be alive, it can't see the separation from that nectar. It is ready to be trapped in the lotus flower drinking honey and ready to die at sunset to be found dead in the whirl of the lotus next morning, but found in the honey pond of the nectar of that lotus. Narottam Das Thakur says, may our life be such that we as honeybees are found in the honey pond of Krishna's lotus feet. This is Narottam Das Thakur. Another example. Narottam Das Thakur says, May our love for Krishna be like the love a chaste woman has for her husband. Huh? The example given is Atri and Anasuya. There's a very historical story of how Anasuya, a very saintly woman, loved her husband so much. Atri. Atri was the husband and Anasuya was the wife. She was so chaste. That one day Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, the Dattatreya, the, th the, the combination of three lords, they appeared as Atri and they approached Anasuya. Anasuya, on the power of her chastity, she could look through the disguise. And she said, oh, you are the controllers of the three, the three worlds and you have appeared as my husband. Well, you can be close to me, but not as my husband. She took some sacred water and sprinkled on them and made them into babies and said, you can approach me like how the child approaches the mother and she put them on her lap, but not like how my husband approaches me. Narottam Das Thakur quotes this example to say, my Lord, even if material things in my life come disguised as spiritual things, may I have so much love for you, like how Anasuya has for Atri. May I have love only for you, and nothing else. Those who love God, they love everyone. Because they see everyone as part and parcel of the same God. They don't say, oh, I am Indian, I am American, I am Australian, I am European. There's no quote-unquote patriotism. There's transcendental love for God. And because that same God, Krishna, is living in the heart of everyone, irrespective of what their caste and creed and nationality and age and background is, they lovingly serve everyone, seeing all directions and all personalities to be the servants of the same God. Dear devotees, this is the goalpost of our life. Please write in golden alphabets in your heart that this human form is to unlock that treasure chest of Krishna Prem in one life. This is the aim of our life. This is the aim of our life. There is no other aim.
Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur would say, we have not come in this world to become engineers, doctors. We have come in this world to become the order carriers of Chaitanya Dev. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Dear devotees, I just want to say two stories and then we will pause for the day and then we'll take some questions and reflections on the same theme that we are discussing. We spoke about Rupa and Sanatan Goswami. Just want to touch a little bit of Raghunath Das Goswami also. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, and for those of us who are new and you're overwhelmed with these names, who are these people crying and weeping and why are they crying? Don't get depressed. You're not in the wrong place. Maybe listening, listening to the wrong speaker, but maybe definitely not in the wrong place. Don't think it's a very sadistic movement of uh, self-deprecating, inferiority complex-filled individuals who are crying and weeping in uh, depression. No, this is the after effect of ecstatic love for God. Hmm? So Raghunath Das Goswami, another great soul who cried. Dear devotees, it is described. Do you want to hear this story? You sure? Am I interrupting your prasadam time? Am I interrupting your sleep time? No. Once I get a hurry ball from the kids, then I will continue. The, the kids are like, hurry ball. And he realized that he was wrong, so he was like, hurry ball. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Hare Rama. Can you imagine how many lifetimes of bhakti that would be for him at that age to have the desire to loudly chant Krishna's name? So many spend their whole life not even getting to know the name Krishna or God. And at that young age, so very, very, very inspiring. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. He lived at Govardhan in a special place called Radha Kund. So there are three names. Please repeat. Vrindavan, Govardhan, Radha Kund. So Raghunath Das Goswami came to Vrindavan, but then he went to the hill called Govardhan and finally settled in the beautiful pond of Radharani's bathing place. That's called Radha Kund. And he would bathe in Radha Kund, he would circumambulate Govardhan, and he would cry in the forests of Brindavan. This was the life of Raghunath Das Goswami. And how loudly he will call out, Radhe! Krishna! He would call out very loudly. How many hours a day? 22 and a half hours a day. Chappan Danda Ratri Dine, Janena Radha Govinda Bine, Chari Dandi Shuti Thake, Swapne Radha Govinda Deke. <laughs> Very sweet Bengali. Huh? 22 and a half hours, he would call out to Radha and Krishna with open eyes, running tears. And for one and a half hours, he would go to sleep, not during the day. We sleep one and a half hours in the afternoon. No, oh, in 25. <laughs> His night's sleep was one and a half hours, right? And when he used to be asleep for one and a half hours, at that time, Swapne Radha Govinda Dekhe. He would see Krishna 22 and a half hours with open eyes, crying and weeping, calling out to them. And now in one and a half hours, when he was asleep, he would see them in his dream. That Raghunath Das Goswami called out so loudly that other sadhus in the area, they would pray to Radha and Krishna, you please give him darshan. This Baba is calling out so loudly. We are all praying not for ourselves. You please come to him. Because he's crying. We are afraid he will die in separation. So much feeling. So Raghunath Das Goswami, after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu departed, he felt so much separation from Mahaprabhu that he decided to climb up Govardhan and jump from there and commit suicide. That same Govardhan and that same Radha Kund, which were the source of joy for him, Raghunath Das Goswami would cry so loudly, 
शून्यायते महागोष्ठम गिरिंद्रम अजगरायते व्याघ्र तुंडायते कुंडम जीवतु रहित शून्यायते महागोष्ठम दैट सेम फॉरेस्ट ऑफ वृंदावन विच मेंट हिज विच मेंट लाइफ फॉर हिम शून्यायते नाउ वॉज वेकेंट एंड शून्यायते इट फेल्ट एज इफ इट वॉज वॉइड विदाउट महाप्रभु and girindro ajgarayate and the same govardhan which was so beautiful during the presence of mahaprabhu now ajgarayate it felt like a big dark snake coiled up to strangulate him and that same pond of radha kund which was the source of joy vyagra tundayate kundam that kunda was like the open gaping mouth of a tigress jeevatu rahitasya me without mahaprabhu Raghunath Das Goswami felt so much loving separation that he would cry loudly. Shunya yate maha gochtham maha prabhu writes. Um, Raghunath Das Goswami writes. What has happened to this Brindavan? It has become lifeless. What has happened to this Govardhan? It looks like a snake, meaningless to me. What has happened to the pond of Radha Kund? It's like the wide gaping mouth of a tigress. Without the Lord in separation, loving separation, shunya itam jagat sarvam govinda virahe na. Here the devotee is feeling separation from Mahaprabhu, Raghunath Das Goswami, and there Mahaprabhu is feeling separation from Krishna. This is the path of feeling separation. One time, one person came to Prabhu Pad and said, "Prabhu Pad, I am chanting Hare Krishna, and I can see red light here. <laughs> I can see red light." she was from a yoga studio and she felt seeing a red light on the forehead meant a lot so she when she's told prabhu pad i can see red light she expected prabhu pad will say very good you are a very great saint the purpose of our life is to see red light here but when she said that that prabhu pad i am chanting and i can see red light in my forehead prabhu pad said continue to chant it will go away <laughs> <laughs> keep chanting it will go away. <laughs> <laughs> another time one lady came and told shila prabhupad prabhupad krishna comes every night in my dream and every night he gives me darshan and when i wake up then i am here at night again krishna gives me darshan so prabhupad gave her a barfi and said i will see you in the evening and after she left prabhupad told his servant Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami are crying. Hey Radha, hey Brajadev, we catch a lalite. Hey Nanda Suna Kuta. Oh Krishna, where are you? And this Mata Ji is saying every night in her dream, Krishna gives darshan. Prabhupada said, "Our path is not to say I have found God, but our path is to humble ourselves and feel how can I find Krishna." And finally, to conclude, dear devotees, today is Makar Sankranti. Today is the day our Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu took sannyas, and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he took sannyas, he left left behind his sixteen-year-old wife, and she lived another eighty years in loving separation from him. Vishnu Priya Devi. Nobody speaks about her life. but her life was full of loving separation chaitanya mahaprabhu had devotees he could do kirtan day and night but vishnu priya had nobody chaitanya mahaprabhu had jagannath temple vishnu priya didn't have a jagannath temple she made a deity of mahaprabhu with her own hands called dhameshwar mahaprabhu and it is interesting it is interesting in treta yuga Sri Ramachandra felt separation from his wife, and in Kali Yuga, Vishnu Priya Devi, the wife, felt separation from the master, from the husband. And in Treta Yuga, Ramachandra made a golden deity of Sita, and here, Sita, in the form of Vishnu Priya Devi, made a golden deity of Mahaprabhu as the Ameshwar Mahaprabhu. And in separation, it is described she had become so thin. she would sleep off the floor she would have clothes which were very simple her hair was disheveled and how austere was she from morning 3 o'clock till noon she would chant the holy name 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे एंड एज शी वुड चैंट इट इज डिस्क्राइब विद एवरी नेम दैट शी वुड चैंट शी वुड कीप वन ग्रेन ऑफ राइस असाइड एंड फ्रॉम थ्री ए एम टू ट्वेल्व नून नाइन आवर्स ऑफ चैंटिंग वॉट एवर राइस शी कुड कलेक्ट बाई हर चैंटिंग इज ऑल दैट शी वुड कुक एंड ऑफर इट टू चैतान्य महाप्रभु and from that 50% she gave in charity and the remaining 50% she accepted as the only meal of her day if we were supposed to have prasadam on the basis of the quality of our chanting <laughs> we would have died long ago because of malnutrition but vishnu priya devi would chant and in bengali it is so beautiful please repeat after me hari naam sankhya purna tandul karai tandul karai means she would have rice in her palms so hari naam sankhya purna tandul karai sei tandul pak kari prabhu ke arpay tahar kinjin matra करए भक्षण जानिए जनो कैन राखय जीवन हरिनाम संख्या पूर्ण तंडुल कराय से तंडुल पाक करी प्रभु के अर्पय ताहार किन जिन मात्र करिय भक्षण जानिए जनो कैन राखय जीवन दे आचार्य राइट्स शी वुड चैन द होली नेम and collect rice and only that much rice she would cook and offer it to krishna and from that only little bit she would accept and in this way in pangs of loving separation vishnu priya devi spent her life remembering the supreme lord so dear devotees with so many examples that were quoted in today's discussion and different angles that we by krishna's um, dictation we went through there was one central theme that we were trying to approach through different stories i hope that was clear and that is we are all dribbling the ball of our sadhana and seva and swadhyay but the goal post of our life is to attain krishna prem to attain love for radha and krishna and there is no other purpose to our human life if we attain this then we are wealthy and if we don't attain this even if we have very big homes We are poverty stricken. Prema dhana bina bhyartha daridra jivan dasa kore vetan more deo prema dhan. Chaitanya Charita Amrit says, "My Lord, please make me your servant and pay me the salary. What salary? Love for your lotus feet. Without which I am poverty stricken. This is all that I want, my Lord. Nothing else apart from this." Having said this. I want to offer my obeisances to each one of you present here. Please, all of you, bless me. Whatever I have spoken, may I aspire for that in this life, and may Krishna Prem rise in our heart. There is no other purpose to our life. Everything else is insignificant. If we get Krishna Prem in our heart, then we have succeeded in this human form. Otherwise, we have to come back again in another form to develop and unlock that love of God. It. last but not the least if the desire is to attain love of god it then how do we attain love of god it is the question yes it is established that that is to be attained but how do we attain oh there are multiple ways to attain love of god it it is described nitya siddha krishna prem sadhya kabu noy shravanadhi shuddha chitte karay udai by hearing from the lips of those who have developed love for krishna and lovingly chanting krishna's names praying oh holy name please unlock my affection for krishna by serving and hearing hari katha from those who have love for krishna and chanting krishna's names as much as we can these two paths will definitely uh, unlock love for krishna gaur prem anande shri gorang mahaprabhu ki shri shri radha shyam sundar ki shila prabhu pad ki जय जय श्री राधे श्याम श्री वृंदावन धाम की जय सो इफ देर एनी रिफ्लेक्शन क्वेश्चन और कॉमेंट्स द फ्लोर इज ऑल योर्स
यस प्रभानु प्रभु Okay, so the the Paramatma is situated in everyone's heart, and basically he's neutral to everything. So what is the use of praying to him? And then is it, if you become a devotee, is he still there, or has Krishna come and said, "Hey, you, move over." In the Shat Sandarbhas, did everyone hear the question? Okay, so the question is about if Paramatma is neutral in the heart to everyone, then what's the point in praying? And then if uh, we become a devotee, then does Krishna enter the heart and tell Paramatma, you get aside and I will sit now? What's uh, What happens? So Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that Samoham Sarvabhute Shu Named Dveshyosti Napriya Ye Bhajante to Mam Bhaktiya Maite Te Shu Chapyaham. That even as the Paramatma, Krishna is unbiased. He doesn't have friends and he doesn't have enemies. However, he also says, Ye Bhajante to Mam Bhaktiya Maite Te Shu Chapyaham. Those who remember me and lovingly serve me, oh, I become lovingly disposed towards them. He also says, Ye yatham maam prapadhyante tam stataiva bhajamyaham. If we think God doesn't exist, Paramatma is like, yeah, I don't exist. Who said I exist? I don't exist. And if we say, yes, Krishna exists, then Paramatla, Paramatma is like, yes, now I will show you my presence. He is reciprocating to our sincerity. So now if someone becomes a devotee, then what happens? It is described by Brahmaji, Yadhyadhya in the third canto. Hmm? That the form in which one remembers the Supreme Lord, that is the form in which that Paramatma feature manifests and sits in the heart. Like, for example, in the heart of Hanuman, when he ripped off his chest, it was Ramachandra sitting. It was in the Paramatma feature because that is the form he is meditating on. Now, if you see the heart of Mother Yashoda, oh, she will see Bal Gopal playing in the Brindavan of her heart. You see? So therefore, Brahmaji has said, Tattad Vapu Pranayase Sad Anugrahaya. That Sad Anugrahaya, out of affection for his devotees, Pranayase. Huh? Huh? In the third canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, this is, um, I think, 3911, Srimad Bhagavatam. Brahmaji says that depending on the form that the Lord is remembered in the heart of the devotee, that form Paramatma takes on the lotus of the heart. So this even Srila Jiva Goswami has described in the Sandarbhas. So <laughs> actually Prabhuji knows everything. He just just like when a you see when you go for your uh, viva or interview, the interviewer is asking you questions. That doesn't mean he doesn't know the answer. He's asking questions so that he wants to see the candidate how much he knows. So our my Guru Maharaj's God brother. Wants to see how much I have learned from my guru. So he's having a little notebook. He's going to give me some A grade or B grade. <laughs> he's just going to mark some points out after that. <laughs> uh, thank you for uh, giving this wonderful class. Uh, she's at home. She couldn't come. Um, so uh, I just wanted to know about that uh, Sanatan Goswami and Dupa Goswami. How, they were from Karnataka, and how did they end up in uh, Bengal? I, I I never understood that part. Do you? So they were working for Nawab Hussain Shah, and the headquarters of Nawab Hussain Shah is in Ramakeli, in West Bengal. So then they ended up there <laughs> okay. because they were very prominent scholars. So they were recruited by the king. Okay. Even even South India was taken over by the, the Nawab. Oh, so they were okay. territories in the same geographical area, province. Okay, now that makes sense. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you for your class. Uh, my question was, uh, you mentioned how important it is to um, not only whenever we go see Holy Dham to do things as a list, but also um, want to do them essentially. But I feel like whenever I go to Dham, I do things as a list. 
uh, how do I stay motivated or at least understand that I need to do this to eventually want to do this? Did everyone hear the question? Yes? So I think next time I should ask the question. <laughs> so then I don't have to repeat it. <laughs> yes, you want to answer? When did they build Dom? You understood? That was the hidden answer to your question. Go to the Dham and ask, when was this Dham created? He's speaking in sutras. <laughs> okay, so the question, Kirtan, right? Kirtan Prabhu was asking this question that uh, when we go to the Dham, many times we have a checklist. I need to go to this temple, this temple, this temple, this temple, this temple, this temple, this temple. Go to this parikama, this parikama, this kama, this arti, this arti, this, and then back to Delhi, and then we fly out. Right? So how do we overcome that mentality of um, um, actually being in the moment and being in a prayerful mood in Vrindavan? Yasyatma buddhi kunapetri dhatuke swadhi kalatradhi shubhauma ijjadi yatirta buddhi salilena karhichit janeshu avidneshu sa eva gokhara. Srimad Bhagavatam describes if we go around of course, that verse we'll, we'll elaborate sometime later, but just a portion of that. Yatirta buddhi salilena karhiche janeshu abhidneshu. If we go to Vrindavan or Navadvip and we are only interested in getting the checklist done and dipping into the ponds, Bhagavatam calls us a fool. Because the actual purpose of the Dham, janeshu abhidneshu, is to associate with those who are living in the Dham and seek from them. Their Harikatha, what we have gained through our sadhana, how it can get a help from those living in the dham through their sadhana. When they speak, oh, you know, we may get some boost, some help. Like in India, you can see many times there are trucks which are driven ahead. And then there are cycles which are driven behind. Now, the, the speed of the cycle is, you know, insignificant compared to the speed of the truck. So an intelligent Cycle, cyclist, what he does is, he doesn't drive, he holds to the truck. Now the truck's moving at its speed and he's just holding. So he gets to go to the speed of the truck without him pedaling. So when we go to the dham, we are like cyclists. We need to find those trucks, those pure Vaishnavas and hold on to them so that we can move at their speed. Hmm? So going to the dham means associating with the dham verses. Those who have been living in the dham, what they have experienced, speaking to them. So we need to take some time out. Either we need to go for a little longer time or we go for less number of days, but the checklist is shorter. We take it a little easy. We do the seven temples and then later we think, okay, now I need sadhu sangha. That's the main focus of my life. To sit and chant under the trees of Brindavan. To sit and hear Harikatha from senior Vaishnavas. This is my priority. More than getting things done. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada. When in the middle of his Harikatha, one disciple got up to have darshan of the deities. Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur said, So how was your eye exercise? <laughs> because the curtains opened and this person got up in the middle of the class to take darshan of the deities. He said, how was your eye exercise? He said, I didn't understand the question. He said, did you see God? He said, no, I saw the deity. Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada said, what did you do? You went, opened your eyes, shut your eyes. Open your eyes, shut your eyes. That's exercise. Here, sit here. Sit down and hear. I am giving Krishna. So that's, that's our process. Our process is to get it from our superiors. So that should be the mood of the dham. Then we will see when we feel we leave Brindavan, we will feel, oh, I am so grateful Brindavan gave me so many gifts this time. Yeah. Instead of we stealing those gifts, let's live in a way that the dham lovingly gifts us those gifts. That should be the move. Any final questions or reflections? Yes, Prabhu. Uh, so in the... Yeah, 
So in the Rasalila, it says, you know, all the Gopikas go to Krishna. And they are under the spell of, it says, you know, Ananga Vardhanam happens. So is that a Tattva of uh, Radha? So how come, you know, Radha is a human entity? So if the Bhagavatam says it's a Tattva, so what is the difference? And So who says Radharani is a human entity? No, uh, one of the, one of the, here, uh, my friends and everybody says that, but if, if it's not true, no, it's, I'm good. It's not I'm good. True. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, actually, Radha your, question is is valid, like... your question is valid if someone says Radharani is a, a human entity, but uh, the Shastra says that she is Krishna's internal Antaranga Shakti. Yeah, that's so, why you know, we all go to Krishna. Anyway. So, yeah, th- thank you, Guruji. And the other question was, you know, the Bhagavatam and the Bhagavad Gita is uh, spoken by Krishna, not Bhagavatam, but, but Bhagavad Gita. But uh, how come we have, uh, we should be having Bhagavan consciousness? Instead, we have Krishna consciousness. Understood my question? Well, that's the question I have. But yes. Yeah. Very good question. The question is, why not be Bhagavan conscious? Why be Krishna conscious? Hmm? So, the response to that would be, do you like the father who is a CEO or do you like the father who is with you at home? Yeah, It's the same person, but do you like the CEO father or do you like the father who is playing with you at home? Right. Where's your dad? Where is your dad? Do you play enough with him? I can see that. Those who are, you know, children during, like, they've gone through the COVID phase, they're like, office? What, what office are you talking? My father is always at home. <laughs> he keeps typing something in the laptop. What, what office? But in general, the word Bhagavan Aishwaryasya Samagrasya Viryasya Yashasha Shriya. According to Vishnu Puran, Parashara Muni says, Bhagavan means he who is full of strength, knowledge, beauty, renunciation, fame, etc. But Krishna means Sarvam Akarshati Iti Krishna. That same God who is the creator is called Bhagavan. But that same Lord who is peacefully playing the flute at home, it's like the father who is relaxed at home, that is Krishna. So we want to be conscious of God, but not because of what he does at work, because of his creation, but just because of his sweetness. Madhurya Bhagavatta Sar, Braje Koilo Prachar, Taha Shuka Vyasera Nandan, Sthane Sthane Bhagavate, Barniyachi Janayite, Taha Shuni Mate Bhaktagon. Our Chaitanya Charitamra describes the essence of Godhood is his sweetness in playing the flute. So therefore, we want to be conscious of the same person in his home attire, in his most relaxed Krishna mood. Therefore, we want to be Krishna conscious. In being Krishna conscious, Bhagavan consciousness is included. But if you are Bhagavan conscious, Krishna consciousness is not necessarily included. So, Yes. You had a question. Yeah. No, Prabhu, it's not a question, but um, uh, it's... if I don't get a job, even after so many g- drilling interviews, the mic is all over. There's such a big board of the committee of interviewers. <laughs> yes. So, thank you very much, Prabhu. Uh, as you said, uh, devotees are separation of in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, separation of Krishna. And we are having in separation of you after several years. We had a fortunate association with you, but uh, but after a long time, again, you know, fortunately, we had an association today. I mean, even I met you in Gundavan when we were there. So uh, you have been in our heart. Um, uh, one verse, I mean, you are inspiration to everyone, even to me. So many verses, and then um, one of them that is, you know, in the Dwamba prayers, you know, Bhakti Mahaparatam Tvai Me Prasanga Bhuye Dhananta Mahatam Amla Shananam Yenan Jaswalpanam Viruvashanam Bhavati Me Shea Bhavad Kanakutamta Panamata you are the pure heart. You are hearing from your nectar, from your is purifies and then inspires many one, any many of them, even including me. And it is uh, very, very fortunate. I think, you know, we are made, uh, I don't know what kind of bias we did in the past life, you know, we got an association with you. My humble one request is that, you know, please, please do come to our temple. You know, please have that association. This one is just maybe beginning. I don't want to put in the spot, but I humbly beg you, please, please to come. And then even my kids, Jishnu and Driti, I mean, they were little. 
every day when you hear your name or your voice in the youtube i mean we don't you know watch it we watch you know yours many times but it always brings us so much auspicious and so much joy hearing to you and then please please take you know take our plea and please do come us from your lips to krishna's ears i take your words which are full of so much affection and appreciation and i offer it wholly completely at the lotus feet of my guru maharaj who for over 50 years has spoken shrimad bhagavatam verse after verse being in the shelter of shila prabhupad and presenting shrimad bhagavatam so eloquently so devotionally with so many commentaries uh, from whose lotus lips i have been fortunate to hear so whatever you have said i offer it at the lotus feet of my guru one last question yes then i get to hear my results uh prabhu yeah <laughs> yeah prabhu so prabhu you said that a uh, goal post is attaining krishna prema or uh, desiring for krishna prema and uh, you said that uh, if we hear from uh, the devotees who have that desire of attaining krishna prema so we will at- get that so i i am thinking prabhupada is the uh, like 100% so we we are, i am reading bhagavatam and we are under uh, guidance of satyasara prabhu and all but still i am not getting that desire to get the krishna prema so what any tip you want to give prabhu it is a long journey attaining krishna prem is something that is even not found in heaven even indra even brahma even lord shiva aspires for it so it's a long journey first step is to know about it second step is to aspire to get it and the third step even after it has been achieved in the heart the nature of krishna prem is such phalino namanti phalino vriksha namanti gunino jana shushka kashtasya murkhascha na namanti kadachan it means that the tree which is full of fruits is the tree which is bowing down by the weight of those fruits the tree which doesn't have fruits is standing tall so the one who doesn't have the fruit of krishna prem he will walk around telling people how great a devotee he is he will say oh well, you know i don't tell anybody is the mic on no he's checking the person <laughs> don't tell anybody but yesterday i chanted 32 rounds one devotee we know in our whatsapp group many years ago he left the whatsapp group it was a japa uh, reporting group so then i contacted him i said prabhu ji why did you leave the group he said prabhu ji how do i tell you i chant 32 rounds every day if i report that in the whatsapp group everybody will feel little embarrassed because they are you know so i told him everybody is chanting 32 in that group <laughs> they only report 16 out of etiquette but they're all chanting 32 and then i added him again in that group <laughs> so so if if we don't have love for krishna then we try to fill in the gap in our heart by getting some appreciation from others for about for our devotion but when there is love for krishna genuinely in the heart the person is convinced that he doesn't have it just like the tree which has fruits is always bowing down by the weight of those fruits he is always thinking everybody has love for god except me so it is a path the living entity never gets to know that he is in love with god <laughs> <laughs> yes we at the moment may not be there that is honesty but the point is never will that day come when we will know that we have love of god even if you ask chaitanya mahaprabhu he says 
प्रेमेर स्वभाव जहां प्रेमेर संबंध शे माने कृष्ण मोर ना ही प्रेम गंध न प्रेम गंध होती ओ वट टू स्पीक ऑफ कृष्ण प्रेम आई डोंट इवन हैव द सेंट ऑफ इट यू एस राधा रानी शे विल से ओ आई कृष्ण प्रेम आई विश आई हैज इट शी सेज यशोदा रानी हैज इट यू एस यशोदा रानी शी सेज आई विश आई हैड लव फॉर कृष्ण लाइक हव राधा रानी हैज फॉर कृष्ण friends of krishna are saying look how much love the mother has but the servants of krishna are saying we have no love we wish we had love like the friends of krishna so the perfection of love of god it is to see everyone serving krishna except us so that's the perfect state so this is a good beginning for us to know that well i don't even have it but the good news is we will never come to a point when we will actually think we have it and if we think we are having it then then there is something wrong that is one thing so we should continue to read about krishna prabhupad said read the krishna book so that's a wonderful wonderful suggestion the more you read and hear about krishna the desire to be with him and serve him increases so there is no other solution apart from chanting reading hearing and associating with senior vaishnavas and having patience because it's a long journey Yes, you had a question. <clears throat> Have a question. Yes. Oh, okay. I thought there was a raised. <laughs> Any reflections? Anything? I'm sorry if I spoke too fast. I hope uh, I didn't confuse you more. than what you already were <laughs> <laughs> i hope something was uh useful yes are you like it prabhu he was he was saying in the evening i know amarendra prabhu i watch every day in video youtube so i know him very well so he was very nice <laughs> to really to see you and he is the hero for the our center <laughs> Uh, <laughs> nice congratulations prabhu ji i'm so happy i met you <laughs> <laughs> congratulations amren prabhu and mata ji after oh, your marriage thank you very thank happy you, to sir. see you and we miss your uh, shila gramams huh. so next thank time you. i hope i will see them well the devotee comes to the lord so you can come and have that <laughs> <laughs> yes yes mata ji no i just he asked before when the dom was created yes sorry no he had, he asked before when the dom was created so i know that some eternal. people <laughs> it's an eternal manifestation it's like saying when was krishna created एवं प्रभो प्रिया धान सचिंत प्रभावत्वात्र किंचित न दुर्घटम शास्त्र डिस्क्राइब्स नेवर वाज देयर अ टाइम व्हेन धाम वाज क्रिएटेड नेवर इज देयर अ टाइम व्हेन द धाम विल बी डिस्ट्रॉयड देयरफॉर इट्स कॉल्ड धाम इन संस्कृत द वर्ड धाम मींस द इटर्नल रेसिडेंस द इटर्नल स्प्लेंडरस एफुलजेंट रेसिडेंस ऑफ द लॉर्ड सो यस हीरो that is correct that's a good thing you learned in the class right yeah good next time you meet someone just tell them meet someone off the street just tell them hey you dham cannot be destroyed <laughs> okay gaur premanande shila prabhu pad ki ja hari krishna Hitesh Prabhu will give a quick thank you note and summary, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Prabhu ji. Then Dr. Pranam, Jai Shila Prabhu. Thank you for the wonderful class. Uh, I would like to summarize the class. We started the class with uh, how Shila Sanatan Goswami and Chief Goswami were forced to serve the Nawab as the Chief Minister and Finance Minister, and how 
they were their heart was burning in separation of chaitanya mahaprabhu and how they ran away from there and once they met chaitanya mahaprabhu they were instructed to just go to vrindavan and how you talked about when we go to dham we just have a check box of oh we'll do this that but how uh, sanatan and rubu goswami were loudly chanting radha and krishna in the dham and going place to place uh, depending on where krishna was or where krishna was directing them to go and uh, also talking about shila vishnu chakravarti thakur how he got the essence of reading shrimad bhagavatam after reading it couple of times and the essence was to run to vrindavan um and then also we talked about uh, uh hence we uh, hence you basically said that this is how the energy will flow where the intent goes uh and then we talked about the conversation between sanatan goswami and the brahmana from kashi and how uh, we concluded uh from the talk that the higher separation from the god is a higher touchstone and meeting krishna and loving krishna is the highest touchstone and uh, we talked about uh, material separation and spiritual separation as well uh we you lit, you briefed us a little bit on how chetana mahaprabhu used to run in devotion to find krishna and he try to hear his flutes and try to smell uh, krishna's body uh and then we concluded that the highest aim is to love radha and krishna and uh, get krishna prema and try to have that as a goal post in our life and try our best to do uh, do that uh and the aim of the life is to attain the love of krishna in this one life and go back to godhead and with that i would like to thank you so much prabhu ji for coming to our taking uh taking time from your busy schedule and visiting us here in hari krishna temple of austin it was very nice and i would like to echo what ram tirth prabhu said please please do come and visit us and enlighten us with all this krishna katha and try to get us closer and closer to krishna and thank you so much thank you again and that kirtan was very ecstatic thank you so much you the stage was risen here so thank you so much prabhu ji hari krishna my special gratitude to prabhanu prabhu for coming in to all the guests for coming in to satyasara prabhu for inviting my dear brother arjun sakha prabhu and my wife swastika for joining and to each one of you right from the hero kartik here to everyone present here thank you for coming hari krishna thank you devotees for attending this today's evening class uh please take prashadam pugo box is serving at the uh, when you go out hare krishna <laughs>